In this video, we're going to unbox this special 30th anniversary edition of the Forge World Space Marine Imperial Land Speeder. Okay, so here we have the box for the Imperial Land Speeder, which I picked up from Forge World. And you can see uh, on the front of this box that it is very, very plain. It just has the Forge World logo up the top. Uh, a repeated Forge World website here, a nice seal which reminds me of the Nintendo seal of quality from back in the day, a QR code, not going to scan that, and a price tag, and of which I paid £61.50 for this. Make of that what you will. The side of the box has Forge World written on, the end of the box has Forge World written on, the other side of the box has Forge World written on, and the other end of the box has Forge World printed on. Uh, the back of the box is a huge amount of gumpf, uh, various warnings and things, not a toy, you get the gist. Apparently this is for 15 years and upwards. I don't know what that means, I think it might mean it's recyclable. And there's your QR code again, I don't know if it's the same as the other one. Anyway, let's open this box up and have a goosey inside. We shall start by undoing the flap at the end. And already inside here we can see some sort of uh, pamphlet. Let's get this out first. Uh, so we have a pamphlet here. This appears to be a guide to building kits. We'll look at that in a little while. We also have our instruction manual. This is the special 30th anniversary edition. Not to be confused with the other one, which isn't the special 30th anniversary edition. And we also have a tub of bits. And it's always fun to make sure you've got all your correct parts. Is that sellotape on there? Not sure why there's sellotape. Oh, that's keeping the box closed. Anyway, let's start off by having a look at this guide to building resin model kits. And this one was apparently checked by JM on the 30th of March. 2022 and I picked this up on the 9th of May something like that the open day I can't remember the date tells us what sort of tools and glues we might me mead mead you might need some mead if you want to get drunk while uh, assembling it but it tells you what sort of tools and glues you need to assemble things uh, shims not sure what a shim is and it tells you how to deal with warped parts and the like which I guess is handy to a part-timer, part-timer, to a first-timer. Does anyone remember these books, these masterclass books? I think they went live on Warhammer Plus recently. I'm not 100% sure. I'm sure an expert out there will let us know in the comments below. So, the other thing we have is the instruction manual. On the front we see this beautiful callback or throwback to the original Ultramarines land speeder. And I'm going to run downstairs and get that for you. So there you go, there's the old original land speeder uh, paint scheme there. Sadly the new one doesn't have the uh, warning stripes on the side, but as you can see it's an Ultramarine speeder. It's yellow with blue Ultramarines. And on the back, you can see what it looked like back in the day. It's a little bit different, I'm sure you'll agree, but you can definitely see the homage there. So let's have a look inside. It tells us all the parts we need here and how to assemble them. On this side, I like that this console is a separate piece. Uh, not much to that instruction guide. Apparently this is page six. No, it isn't, it's step six. I was going to say there's only four pages in it but it looks good fun to build and paint, and I'm always a fan of multi-melters. This should be going in my new Horus Heresy armor, and armor, army, and luckily they are wearing Mark VI to suit all the new plastic Mark VI Marines. Anyway. So an interesting thing I've noticed when reading through the Forge World assembly guide tips thing, leaflet, pamphlet, call it what you will, there is a small picture here, yes here, just in the shims section. Whereas if you read the caption of this photo, 
It says if you're enjoying this video then please consider liking it and subscribing to the channel. That means you Henry. If you are enjoying the content here on the channel then please consider joining the Patreon, the link to which is in the description below or up here somewhere. I'm sure you're all dying to see what the parts look like so let's slice along here and open this up. I need a knife. Here is my trusty unboxing knife. Oh, I could have gashed my hand there. There we go, that's better. Let's open her up and have a look. Okay, so there's lots of parts. This flap's gonna keep opening. So the first part I have is this. No idea what that is, I think it might be the seats or a part of the seats. Next up we have what looks like a sensor array and it's not broken which is nice and maybe another sensor part on a fin there. There's your typical Space Marine light bulb. Uh, always useful for seeing in dark places. That's what people use light bulbs for. Look how blotchy my fingers look. They look a bit like butcher's sausages. A very gribbly part up next. Not sure what this is but it looks to be well made regardless. Ah, it's the console. There's our screen. Very, very nice indeed. I guess this is the weapon mount, one of them anyway. These are your Space Marine legs hanging off the edge of the armchair. And uh, as you can see, they are Mark VI legs because they are kind of flared and they have a single piece bottom of the leg. There's no knee pads on these the back like. You won't see much of the back, but it's always interesting to see what's going on behind. On here we have the Space Marines heads and some balls. A couple of pairs of balls there, not quite sure what they're for. They appear to be something. Yes, I find that they, when they are something, they're usually something we use. Anyway, the heads are quite nicely detailed. They are very small, but they do look nice. Do they both have the same sensor? This marine head has a bigger sensor than this one. This one has more rivets on his forehead. Next up, we have some arms with a bit of flashing going on, but that'll soon come off. Uh, so far, I've noticed that these casts are really quite crisp indeed, which is nice. Is the other side of those arms. Of course these are shoulder pads, they wouldn't be anything else. Um, this is the Marine's right hand shoulder pad and this is the bobbly knobbly left hand shoulder pad which usually indicates a Mark VI Marine. Sometimes your Mark V Marine has them and occasionally even other Marks but they're usually on the Mark VI. This is a multi melter, a multiple melter gun which just to me looks like two melter guns stuck together, but it is not, it's actually bigger than that. It's a heavy weapon, it's the multi-melter. And this is quite a nice sculpt as well. Always interesting to see how the uh, weapons are sculpted. There's something going on on that ammo can canister, but as you can see with the size of my fingernail, it really is quite small. Size, we're not going to worry about. Lovely. Oh, and I also don't have to drill those barrels out which is always handy. Next up we have some pokey bits and what looks like a periscope here. Not sure what that part is at all. Um, this bit looks like a TIE bomber or something from the top. I'm sure it's not. It's definitely not a TIE fighter from Star Wars. It's just a some sort of sensor package I would imagine. Um, I reckon looking in the instructions might answer the question, but that's not something we're going to do. We're just checking out the quality of these casts and these parts. Very nice. And here we see a couple of torsos for our Mark VI, and interestingly, they are cast on a 45 degree angle there. Very interesting. It's nice not to have um, nubs and things up the back collar here. They don't have the pipes coming around the back. I think the new ones do. 
an engine here, I believe, and it has the uh, wings already sculpted in, which is nice. That means less assembly. There's your up the engine shot, which you might like to see. There's some interesting sort of pinching going on here. I don't know if that's a slight warp or if that's just how it's meant to be. We'll find out more when we come to assemble it. There's the other side of the uh, intake there. It looks to be some sort of rotating fan mechanism. I'm not going to spend too much time on this because this is the other one to go with it for the other side. More spinning fans. Uh, notice this wound here. It's almost healed. Okay, so it turns out the other bits were not the seats. I think these are the seats, and these are possibly the most detailed Space Marine seats I've ever seen. However, no, no worries, that bit came off. I thought it might have been a uh, chunk out of the mould. It was just a piece of um, flash flapping around in the box. But these seats are very crisp indeed. Very happy so far with the casting on this. Here is your main section of the land speeder. Very small here, it could almost be a jet bike of sorts. But obviously this is the front where you can see another screen and this is the rear. I guess the uh, weapon mount goes up here. And uh, this is some sort of side piece. I believe these little rods will have to come off at assembly. A couple of flying stands. I think you've all seen these before. Very common in the game. We also have a round base. Not sure what size this base is, to be honest. If anyone knows, then please let me know. And thus laid out on the table, you can see all the parts that come with this kit. And I cannot wait to get started building it. So there you go, that was the 30th edition Imperial Land Speeder by Forge World. What did you think of that? Do you think, it's a bit blown out there, do you think it deserves the Nintendo seal of quality? And um, will you be getting one for yourself? This is probably going to be the first non-Horus non -hor 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 Heresy boxed set miniature that I paint for my new Horus Heresy army. That was really hard to say. If you want to see some more unboxing videos, and I think you do, check out the playlist up here somewhere. As always, thank you very much for watching, and always remember to drill your barrels. Unless you bought this, they're already pre-drilled. Marvellous.